The events you are about to witness are true. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> What's that not coming? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be installing a ceiling fan just like this one here, and we're going to match this one. So what we had to do is we had to find the style of ceiling fan this was. We had to make some phone calls. We had to uh, check out some different stores. So now we've located the ceiling fan. This is the type we're going to install. We're ready to install our ceiling fan. Uh, the ceiling fan came in just two boxes. This is all you're going to get when you get to the store. Believe it or not, our ceiling fan fits in here. We're going to have our fan blades in here and everything else is going to be in here. When you get ready to open the ceiling fan box, make sure that it's facing upwards because the heaviest part of the ceiling fan is going to be the motor. That's going to be into the bottom of the box. You want to make sure you don't open the wrong end of the box uh, because there's a lot of weight on there. All right, once, you, once you get ready to open the box, I'm just going to open the box and then we're going to pull out the top of it and we're going to separate, we're going to pull out all the parts out of the bags and make sure everything's here. Kind of gets things sorted a little bit so we got a clear understanding about it. Take out the instruction booklet. We've got an instruction booklet here, all ceiling fans do. And we're just going to kind of pull the parts out. At this point, the main body of the ceiling fan is still in the box. Just leave that alone. Okay, here's all my bags that came out of there. I'm just going to open up all these bags and kind of sort things out and, and see where I go from here. Okay, we got all the parts out. And you'll notice I put a piece of craft paper, my good old craft paper that I like to use. I cut a little piece of that. And I've laid that down first. That way, when I put everything out, I don't get them lost in the carpet and that kind of thing. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now, this is the extent of everything that's in the box that we're going to use. It doesn't look like that much, actually. Uh, actually, the, the fan housing, too, and the fan blades. But um, this fan does not have a light assembly. If you get a fan that has a fan light assembly at the bottom of it, obviously you're going to have a lot more parts. But um, it's best to open it up, look at all your parts, kind of look at the direction booklet, and first off, see if all the parts are there, make sure that you understand what's going on, and uh, so you have a better feel for it. Uh, you'll see there's, um, I've separated the screws in different little piles. Uh, there's gonna be two different sizes of screws, so it's really important to keep those separated because uh, you don't wanna use the wrong screws for the wrong application. Okay, so uh, we're ready for the next step. Okay, grab the other box. This is the box for the, uh, the fan blades. We're just gonna open that and um, kind of set those off to the side. We'll make sure we find out which ones of these are going to go with that. We'll separate the screws. We'll just kind of sort things a little bit further at this point. Okay, I got my fan blades out. Um, now I'm going to read the directions a little bit. Kind of get yourself familiar with your project before you get all gung-ho into it. The worst thing you can do is start thinking you don't have to read the directions. Guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. You start and all of a sudden something's going to happen towards the end and it's going to be uh, it's going to bite you in the it, it, in the end if you don't read those directions make sure you read the directions familiarize yourself and uh, uh, you'll be way better off trust me okay so I'm just I'm just going to kind of push push the fan blades out of the way and the fan uh, arm assemblies and the screws so I only have a few little things to work with, and I'm going to pull the motor out now. Okay, on your fan, make sure you read everything before you start pulling it out. Look at that. It says to prevent damage to motor and wiring. Never lift motor unit by the wires. And what they're referring to are these small wires. Don't just jerk this this uh, whole motor assembly out with these wires. These are very thin gauge wires. So please read your directions. I mean, you could damage uh, the inside of the unit. Once you get it all done, you might find out that it's not going to work. It's going to be because you've pulled on here. So don't do that. I'm going to show you how to get it out of this box. Okay, this unit is protected by styrofoam all the way around it, a styrofoam container. So I'm just going to set this down, put my feet by the side of the box, grab the whole styrofoam container, lift it out. You want to 
want to get it out of the box like that. You don't, at this point, you don't have to take it out of this. Just leave this in here and we'll start reading the directions now. I'm just going to take all these wires and I'm going to gently straighten them all out and get them all ready so we can put our little sleeve on here. This wire is going to be plenty long. Just straighten it all out, get the kinks out of the wires gently. You know, you just want to kind of get it straight before we before we get going. Just take your time on it. It's very simple. Okay, I'm going to review my picture of my little diagram and I'm just going to do a dry mock. I'm going to take my little extension. This is the extension we're going to use. That's going to end up going right here on top of, of here. And, uh, but I'm going to look at this and make sure I know which, which way the housing is going to go, especially this little goodie here. I want to make sure I, I make sure it doesn't go up either this way or this way. You know, I've got to look at the picture, make sure of all this, because when I put all the wiring down through here, up through here and out the top, I want to make sure I've got the right housing pieces together. So just take a moment and uh, look at your directions and figure that out. Okay, here's our extension piece. Uh, it's got a little slide holder here with a little cotter pin. You want to pull that off and don't lose that. You can pull this off. This is this cotter pin and this little rod is actually going to hold this to the base of the fan. But uh, we're just going to do that now. Pull that off. And then there's a screw on the back side where this knuckle is. I'm going to call this a knuckle. Here's your a ground wire. It was pushed in like that. Just pull that out of the way. I'm going to use that later. There's a little set screw on the side there. That set screw keeps this knuckle attached to this rod. So we're going to loosen that up, pull that out. You're going to see there's a sliding pin in there. When you pull that out, the pin's going to slide out. But um, there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that in a moment. Ultimately, on this fan, I've got a little housing here that's going to slide up there. So I took that little pin out of there. And that's going to end up going down into here. So these wires here have to slip up through here. Now I could probably slide those up and get them through here where this is, but like if you have a long extension, say you got a four foot long extension, you want to slide these wires through there, they recommend you taking the screw out with, the, with this pin and all that good stuff, then your wires will slide up there easier. So you can either pull this out or leave it in. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pull it out for demonstration purposes only. Okay, where this little set screw is, once I take that set screw out, it'll leave a mark on the little uh, six inch extension. I'm going to try to uh, re-tighten it up after I put the knuckle back on. You don't really have to do that. I just do that because there's already a mark there. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I've loosened up that screw. When you lift this up, you see this little pin? See that? It fell right out. Don't be afraid of that. This little pin uh, will fall out at this point because then I can slip this off of here. Okay, so now I've only got this little extension piece. I can slide the wire right up through there and we're going to reposition this later. Okay, you leave that off. You can even leave this housing off for the moment. Now you can take your wire and slide it all the way down on here. So we're, we're going to do that next. I've got the wire, so I'm just going to slip that in there. Now they can push right through there nice and easy without that knuckle on there. You don't have to worry. We're going to pull that all the way on here. We're going to position it down on here. This is our base. I've just left it in here. This is, this is just going to hold it from falling down and so forth. I've got two screws down here. Loosen up those screws to make sure that you can push this all the way down. Okay. Now you'll see this is the hole where we had our, our goodie with the cotter pin. So we're going to push this down in here, then we have to slide this through the holes in between the wires and hook it on the cotter pin. So, so uh, push your wires down on here, line it up, and gently fish this through. So we're going to do that now. Okay, it might take a few minutes to get this in there because uh, you want to make, you're, you're pushing this cotter pin or this rod through in between the wires. So you just kind of have to gently do it back and forth. You take the little cotter pin, push it, push it in here and, until it's snapped into place like that. Do not tighten these up yet. 
Okay, now remember, we gotta, we, we've got to put this knuckle back on there. So look at your directions now, make sure you know which way the knuckle goes, but also look at the directions, because you remember, we've got to put this little uh, housing piece on first. If you put this on and get it all situated, then at the last second you hang it, oh, crap, we forgot to put this on. So make sure you read your directions, so we're going to put this on first, and we're going to put the knuckle on. Okay, you got to slip all the wires on to get this uh, housing piece on there. And uh, we're not going to tighten these screws yet. I'm just doing, this is a just dry run. Okay, that's going to fit down in there. That looks right. I look at my directions. Everything looks okay. Okay, now this is good. So I'm just going to leave this loose right here. Then I'm going to look, and it looks like uh, it's time for me to put the knuckle back on. So look at your directions, step by step, and you'll get it. Okay, you're putting the wires through this knuckle. I'm gonna slide this knuckle down, but make sure, like I say, you read your directions, because I tricked you. We're not gonna put this on yet. If you look at your directions and your diagram, you're gonna notice that this housing's gotta fit in here too. We can't slip this housing on after we put the knuckle on, can we? So we gotta first slip the knuckle on, or, or this housing, down in here, and then we can go ahead and put this knuckle on, okay? Okay, we've got this canopy on. Now we're going to take the knuckle, slip it through there. We're going to slide that on. Okay, we have this We have our knuckle on here. Now we're going to take that loose pin. Do you remember? There's two holes here. You can just drop that right now if you want. And you're going to slip this in here through the wires, and it's just going to stick out. You know, quarter inch on both sides, whatever. Read your directions. Each fan assembly could be slightly different. I'm basically explaining to you the steps. And once you look at this video and your directions, you'll be more inclined to feel like you can do it. Okay, now I'm going to slide this up. There's a definite little notch in there. So if you have it in the wrong position, get it in the right position so you can lift it up. And I'm going to take my set screw, and I remember where I had where there's a little set mark on the side. Like I say, if you, if you turn it around the other way, that's okay too, but I'm just gonna lift this all the way up there and I'm gonna tighten that right back on here. Make sure you push this all the way up so, so it's up tight against that rod and tighten up the set screw. Okay, this is what we got so far. This is gonna lift up right up to our finished box. This all looks right. Look at your directions. Make sure everything looks okay. And um, remember these two little screws down here at the bottom I was telling you about. What you're going to want to do is hold on to your knuckle here and position it so it's going straight up and down. Pull on it. There's just a little bit of a gap right there. Not very much, hardly anything. Just pull on it tight and we're going to tighten these two screws. Okay, these two, two screws, as I'm tightening it, I'm going to take my Phillips first and I'm going to make them snug. But there is a slot on there for a standard. So I'm going to do it. I always like to do this. Uh, use my Phillips first. And then I can do my slotted. And I can really crank down on there just a little bit harder than I can a Phillips. It just seems like uh, that's the best for me. So that's what I do. On these screws here, what I do is I, I uh, make them snug with my Phillips. And sometimes on the Phillips screws, uh, the Phillips slot here, there might be a straight edge that goes all the way across where I can use my standard screwdriver. So once I make this snug with my Phillips, then I'll use a standard, which is a, a standard slot, I just call it a standard, where I can really crank down on there at the end. So that's, that's what I do. You don't have to do that, but I feel I can get it, the screws just a little bit tighter that way. Okay, this is what your ceiling fan is going to look like so far. You've got your wires coming out of the top. Here's your ground wire. Everything's tight. This is all nice and tight. This is going to go up like that. Here's your housing piece here that fits down in there. Like I say, some fans are different. This is just how this one is. So make sure you look at your directions. This is going to give you the, the basics, or more than just the basics, I'd say. A, a complete understanding how to put everything together. Now we're ready to go over to the ceiling. But uh, what we're going to end up doing is here's here's this unit here. It's got a notch in it. This is going to screw up to the ceiling, 
And then we're going to lift this up. This knuckle is going to fit. We're going to have to reroute our wires and stuff, you know, but the knuckle's basically going to fit up in there like that, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's a definite little notch in here um, that once we get up there, it's going, to, it's going to notch into place, so it's going to hold this steady. If you have a ceiling that's a cathedral ceiling, which is a sloping ceiling, that notch, um, you know, fits into there. There's a definite uh, way that that fits, even on flat ceilings. So we'll get to that step, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here, we're going to screw it up to the ceiling. Before we go and put this up in the ceiling, I want to show, show you, we still have it in our container. I haven't pulled this out yet. This is keeping this nice and straight. If you take it out of here, your whole unit falls on the floor. This protects it too, if it's a glass unit or if it's a nice shiny chrome one, whatever. So just leave it, leave it in the styrofoam. It's a nice handy uh, platform to, to use. So, okay, we're going into the other room and I'll show you how to install this plate. Okay, here's our ceiling fan uh, box up in the ceiling. I've got wire nuts on the individual wires, so I'm going to take those off. Before I do that, I'm going to make sure that my switch that I installed in the wall is off. And I'm going to take these wire nuts off, and I'm going to test the wires uh, with a little wire tester just to make sure that we got all the power off. Do not hook this up hot. Okay, I've taken the wire nuts off, and I tested this with my little wire tester from before. I just pushed it on the white wire and the black wire. Nothing happens. I tried the fan and I turned it on. Now I've turned it off. So uh, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that your power is off. You want to double check it, even triple check it if you feel like it. Um, main thing is this wire needs to be off. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. I'm just going to take this wire and I'm going to unroll it. And I'm going to take off this outside sheathing. I'm going to use a sheetrock knife. Make sure you got a sharp blade. I'm just going to score the outside of this plastic or this rubber sheathing just gently, hardly anything at all. I'm just scoring it, maybe cutting a little bit more than that. And then I can pull this out like that. I can take the outside paper off up to there. I can hold that, pull on a little bit, just take your knife, just kind of saw it off, okay, like that. And then we're going to do this paper that's wrapped around the ground. Okay, so that's what you want for that right now. Okay, this mounting box is going to fit up in here. There's notches on here, so there's there's quite a few different notches. So I'm going to line it up with the screws up there. Before I do that, I'm going to take my little mounting screws. These were left in when it was painted, so I'm going to clean off these screws a little bit, and I'm going to dry I'm going to dry fit this up, make sure everything's ready to go. I'm going to slip this up in here, and I'm just going to look and see which notches I want to utilize. Now this is a flat ceiling, so it really doesn't matter where this notch fits. It just matters where I feel comfortable off of my ladder, how I'm going to lift the fan up and fit it down into, into this notch. Now if you were on a cathedral ceiling, this would be at an angle, so there's a little notch in here where the knuckle fits in. You would want that angled downward, but here it's not going to matter, okay? So, However you feel comfortable fitting that up, I'm going to make this notch fit towards me so that you guys can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to screw this up in here now. Okay, I'm going to screw this up here, but before I do that, you remember, uh, on this ha housing here, has a green wire attached to it, so this ground wire needs to be connected to this ground wire. Well, I've got a metal box up here, so just for convenience sake, before I screw this up in here, I'm going to wrap this around one of my mounting screws and I'm going to leave the pigtail. And I'm going to hook this up later. That way this ground is, is, is kind of connected to the metal box too, uh, just for safety purposes. Just remember, if you see a video that Joe does, you too can do it. I wouldn't be too concerned about anything that you see on my channel. You got any questions?
drop me a line. I'll get back to you with the answers. I'm always here to help.